605 right now. We are learning more about the investigation into the ambush attack that left two Bristol police officers dead and a third wounded. The Office of the Inspector General spent more than a year and a half investigating the use of force by the surviving officer. News 8's Ken Pierce was there in Bristol in the hours after that terrible shooting. He's live in Bristol this morning with what that investigation found. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Alyssa and Keith. Certainly no surprise the finding of the Office of Inspector General. Finding the use of force by this Bristol police officer was justified. After all, Nicholas Brutcher fired 83 rounds at police and Officer Alec Iorato fired one shot back, killing Brutcher. The findings of the investigation might not be a surprise, but it does give us the clearest picture yet of exactly what happened on October 12, 2022. The report says Nicholas Brutcher got into a fight at the bar Bleachers. He and his brother Nathan then got stopped by police. The report says Nicholas was verbally aggressive and made derogatory statements to officers. Once the, bro <coughs> excuse me, once the brothers got home, the report says Nicholas made a fake 911 call saying his brother was being aggressive. Take a listen. Any weapon? No. Was it, has it been violent at all? Any physical? Uh, I mean, a little bit physical, but... Well, how, again, uh, in I what way? I, like, I mean, just like how men get physical with each other when they're all upset and such. All right. Listen, we're going to have an officer come over and see you guys, okay? Uh, I appreciate you. What happened was Lieutenant Dustin DeMonte, Sergeant Alex Hamsey, and Officer Iorato responded to that call. Brutcher was waiting in the bushes, wearing camouflage with an assault rifle. He fired those 83 rounds, killing DeMonte and Hamsey. Iorato, wounded, fired that one fatal shot as Brutcher reloaded. Bristol's new police chief, sworn in yesterday, says his department and his town have learned the importance of supporting one another. The report revealed Brutcher had just learned that day that his ex-wife had delivered a baby she had had with a friend of his, and the autopsy revealed that his blood alcohol level was around three times the legal limit. Live in Bristol this morning, I'm Ken Pierce. Back to you. Ken, thank you. We're